Hey guys, good morning from Thaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm going to review uh, House of Armani and the Cord line. This, uh, this is one of the fragrances I haven't reviewed. I always wanted to review because you guys know um, Armani Cord is one of my signature scents. It's one of my favorites. It doesn't get so much love nowadays, but I kind of had a lot of memories with this perfume because it was my dad's uh, signature scent. So I did review the ones that I really wanted to, showing you some of them. They are remaining in my collection. Um, other ones would be Cord Profumo, I think, yes, Profumo, sort of like a clubbing thing. Then I have this uh, hard to find Armani Cord Special Blend. These are like really hard to find nowadays. Uh, these are also very long lasting. And the other one I have right now is uh, Armani Cord Ultimate, where I have a little bit dent on the bottle, but nonetheless, all nice scents. So I also had the Armani Cold Ice, I think, yeah, the silver bottle, I sold it off. And I did review, I think, Absolute. So basically, uh, I covered all the ones I wanted to. But today, we're gonna look at Armani Cold Colonia. I don't have the big bottle, but I have a 15 ml, kind of like portable, uh, smaller bottle. These are really excellent because um, they have sprayers. I'll show you in a bit. So this was released in 2017 and did not get so much love. Uh, so before the scent, uh, today, has been a good day. You see the sun's coming up right now. Uh, after three or four long days of uh, really chilly uh, winter days, today it's a little bit, I think the sun will come out, it'll be very sweet. Uh, second thing is I think it was uh, about 14 degrees. I went for morning walk breakfast and I on the way, I met a Siberian Husky puppy. It was very, very cute. And he was trying to play and all that. <laughs> so I'm in a good mood when I see cute animals, makes me happy. So let's hit that review so this is thanks to Abhik Bhai uh, who gave me the bottle uh, from his collection and he went through one of these I think this is backup bottle and actually he told me these are the perfect size for him because 15 ml is the ideal size if you have a big collection in your arsenal okay so you can actually rotate and finish the bottle it will be practical so very nice these bottles will cost you about I think 15 bucks or uh, I think yeah 15 15 dollars yeah 15 dollars for 15 ml in Bangladesh and you can find all the other ones, Coat Profume and other ones in this bottle size. So still maintains the box, blue colored. So kind of gives you feel it's going to be a little bit more uh, blue or uh, fresher take on coat. So this is EDT concentration for men and uh, basically that's the box. Really love the bottle. I'm sorry if someone comes up, <laughs> yeah, I, I cannot control it, I'm on the rooftop. So this is the cute bottles they have. Uh, many of the people, they have this bottle. Take a look at it, very nice. It has the blue colored uh, and Purom Armani Coat Colonia. And the best part is, as you can see, it has a sprayer. So my morning scent was Dunhill, I think, uh, Century. And let's see, there's the cap. Let's spray this and talk about it. Uh, really nice, cute little sprayer. They spray enough for the uh, sprayer size. Let me read you the notes first of all, then I'll tell you what I feel about it. So this fragrance has notes like, I think, uh, I'm reading from my phone by the way. Uh, I think uh, notes of bergamot, mandarin, pink pepper up top. Then you go uh, heart, uh, orange blossom, clary sage, and uh, uh, some, I don't know, some molecule developments. And then the base is woody and ambery. Okay, so uh, they also have tonka bean and heliotrope. So kind of like a floral end to the perfume. So what you really get from the initial blast you get you get a nice little uh, the pink pepper really shines here pink pepper gives you this nice kick zingy kick with that orange and the uh, perfume actually opens up very very fresh so kind of reminiscent of summer but i also think it's going to be good for springtime you know a little bit cooler weather you can pull it off it will last a little bit longer uh, the let me tell you the weakness first of all in this perfume uh, the reason i did not buy it i tested it like two years back i really love the smell but i felt the fragrance like disappear very very quickly so i think this is actually sort of the weak side of this fragrance if you consider longevity is a must um, the fragrance there's another one armani Cold sport and i feel there's a summer one i want to try them okay uh, if i find them sorry the door is banging so i feel like someone's coming in um, the fragrance is pretty nice you know the smell wise if you let's get in the good stuff this is a little bit different than armani Cold. it has on the dry down uh, you can actually detect the Armani code uh, sort of DNA, but up top is much fresher. I think uh, it would be good for youngsters who love fresh perfumes. It has sort of this lavender coming in a bit later, but the up top, the orange and the pink pepper disappears after 15 minutes. So that was really nice. If it persisted like say uh, 45 minutes, that would be really great. But it has this light, airy, uh, you know, citrusy heart. 
so it makes it kind of like a wearable for office more versatile and summertime all year round you can wear it bangladesh winter will last you longer that's the good thing about this perfume you know like our winters are very friendly um, so you wear this i think you're gonna get good four hours to half four and a half you can get from this with a light sea hush and projection is mild also so i think you'll go have to go about six to seven sprays you have to go heavy on the trigger for a big bottle and you can actually carry this if you get the small one you can carry this in your pocket or bag and you can take it uh, before you enter a room board meeting or something you can spray it to be very very refreshing um, so age for it I think it's going to be crowd favorite for everybody youngsters you know like if you have been using code for a while you want a little bit more versatile in your collection from the code line this is one fragrance I would recommend um, uh, what else there's a floral note somewhere there. I think it's a geranium or a heliotropia one of those notes uh, it's not super floral but it has that floral heart or uh, floral yeah floral heart with that tonka bean at the base so it's also sweet so fresh citrusy it's kind of spicy woody sweet floral kind of a perfume okay so is it a must-have uh, I mean I like it a lot because I'm a fan of quotes so I'm a little bit biased okay <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that you know it's not a must-have you know if you have few blue fragrance in your collection like YSLY or if you have Sauvage or you have a uh, uh, loam uh, was the other one loam lanoid loam oil electric those fragrances are in line with this one so if you have any of those you don't need this specially but that uh, code is always a classic fragrance uh, line and uh, Armani always produce nice fragrances they have that aqua di Gio line they have a few other lines you know Odin V line this code line is pretty solid in my opinion uh, so you can pick up any other codes if you really want performer you should go for absolute or uh, special blend or ultimate or profumo those are more uh, pungent and stronger and longer lasting scents okay so overall this one longevity i'll give it like a six and a half out of ten uh, smell of it is very fresh i really like the smell i'll give it like 7.5 out of 10 um, uniqueness it's not that unique you smell a lot of these fragrances in market so i'll give it like it's okay middle of the road but uh, the overall it's very pleasant even though it's not the most unique scent it is going to be a crowd favorite people are going to compliment you on this so this is basically the best part of this perfume and i think you can definitely buy it for summers if you're looking to wear it in the office especially this is going to be a good office scent and also gym so overall this perfume i'm giving 7.5 out of 10. Uh, i know uh, cold line is my favorite i should give at least eight but that longevity sometimes you know it comes into account because these fragrances are not cheap you really have to pay around i think big bottle is going to cost you about 75 85 dollars so that's not cheap but nonetheless it's a really nice perfume bottle as well i really like the blue bottle check it out armani code and this is called colonia that's it for today i'll sign out and enjoy my nice uh, sweet sunny winter day have a very nice day nice weekend i'll see you soon bye bye